wanna see the world united and learn to live as one. I wanna see the world united and learn to live as one. I wanna see the world united, learn to live as one. I wanna see the world tonight. Hello, everybody. I'm Matthew with the Crow Foundation, video number two. Today, I just wanted to show you the RV and a couple projects I'm working on around the RV. Um, why is the RV important? Well, this is my resistance. This is my stand. I'm trying to prove that we can be minimalist, live with very little and power and fuel these on our own without needing big companies like the oil companies. An RV is just the start. The dream is to grow from this, use this as a tool to project me into the future. Kinda like a time traveling spaceship. <laughs> but no, seriously, this is going to be used until we can build communities and villages based with the same technology that I'm using to remodel this RV. We're going to keep everything almost exactly the way it was built in 1983 and we're going to add in a hydrogen generator that'll power the motor, the stove, possibly the refrigerator, the heater, and the water heater. That is the goal, and as well as a uh, torch for if I ever need to do any welding. Um, that's kind of a really cool concept to be able to just take fresh, beautiful water, source energy, break it down into oxygen and hydrogen again, no harm done there, and use that as a source of fuel. That is pretty awesome. Uh, we're also building wood stove because just in case, you know, really cold weathers, things happen, your HHO generator that runs on water freezes, although you can add alcohol to it, but um, I'm not sure how that'll work, but I, I've heard that you could. Haven't tried it yet? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm uh, going to be welding my own stove together, which is really cool. Um, so why don't we get the tour started? I'll just show you my little home. It won't take too long. Um, it's basically a three-room home. Maybe four if you consider the nest up top. Um, I'm just going to turn it into a big old nest for Mama Bird, wherever she is. I'm looking for you. <laughs> uh, there's the cab right here. We're in the living room. Right across from me, which you can't see, is the dining room. And over here is the kitchen. So why don't I start showing you around. And thank you for being with me on this most blessed day of the Lord. It is truly wonderful to be alive. Um, and you get to meet Nico again. Everybody loves Nico. You'll love Nico too. He's a pouty buck because we didn't go for a walk today. Aha! The beginning of the tour. We're right outside my RV. You can see little Nico's in the window wondering what am I doing out here. So let's go ahead and just get this tour moving. It's a very short one. It's not the prettiest, but I love her anyways. Uh, you can see I'm working on some projects out here. I got this insulation over here in the corner that we are going to use to help insulate my vehicle. Uh, this is all donated free material. I have spent a lot of money, but at the same time I've saved a lot of money. Uh, so we're going to be like coming back behind here and insulating this. This is the back of the refrigerator. Just seeing if I could zoom out. But yeah, so that's what we're doing there. Uh, my door broke the other day, so I'm actually in the middle of repairing that as well. But it's overall a very clean, very nice model for being as old as I am. <laughs> So, we got my cute little stove where I like to make my tea and cook my food. Although I recently had the police show up and tell me I'm not allowed to sleep or cook in here because that's considered living. And living in a camper in your uncle's driveway is apparently against the law. So, when you first come in, 
you have temperature controls nothing too fancy and you notice everything is that wood wood and then just a little storage here this is where I keep a lot of junk now jackets and shoes and tabletop tops. and right to our left is the amazing bathroom which is half storage right now I don't use the shower because I'm at an uncle's a family members so right now it's just storage but it's a full shower Voila. and right now I just use it to hang clothes up I will say this uh, bathrooms do stink in these I don't know if they're supposed to I use chemicals but my goal is to just not use the toilet unless I'm traveling on the road and then to dump it before I stop otherwise I'm gonna hopefully always have nature or facilities around because nothing wrong with digging a hole in nature and doing your business so here we have the rest of the house outside the bathroom I have a great double sink uh, with a countertop to add extra space if I don't need the extra sink and you see I got all my herbs and spices which I still got to get a spice rack for and my <laughs> extracts my oils I like to be very holistic I don't have a lot of dishes but and I swear I don't usually use plastic that's a borrowed cup <laughs> but I am learning to reduce my life um, they call it minimalism I'm just learning about it uh, I've been doing it for a long time, I just didn't put a term or a title to it, and I still own a lot of stuff, but over time, I will slowly get rid of them. And yes, those are cards you see for speaking to the other world, but these are oracle cards, they're not tarot cards, it's not with the devil, it's with the animal spirits, so you don't have to fear that, some of you Christians out there, who tend to be afraid of everything. Um, this dream catcher was given to me by the ancestors, uh, just appeared in my truck one day, very cool. That blanket I got in Iraq, believe it or not, when I was a young, dumb Marine. And it just turned out to be a great curtain to separate the front driving, which is where Nico's at. Um, it's a little bit of pain in the butt. But you see, I got my breakfast nook over here, which is really cozy and very comfortable. I love it. Where you see the table and computer, though, that's going to be where the wood stove's going. It's going to mount on a bar just like that. And we're going to drill a hole in my nice beautiful roof and <laughs> hopefully not burn the place down but as you can see right here next to the fridge which yes I do have a fridge and I'm not going to show you the contents of my fridge right now a lot of it's probably just some lettuce that needs to go to the compost right now I'm mostly living off of canned food at the moment because I've invested every dollar I can into this camper and a friendship. But yeah, you know, a little bit of storage. I try not to shop with plastic bags. Uh, God blessed me with this Marriott Vacation Club bag when I was cleaning up garbage around our local park here. So thank you, nature and God, for that wonderful gift. So now I can start shopping using a reusable bag. I've uh, been doing some work up here too. Um, Really, overall, it's a very clean truck. Hey, say hi to the camera, Nico. Internet world and our 20, possibly 50 viewers. But hey, we're not here for the views or the upvotes or the likes. We're just here to make the world a better place. So, I hope you liked my home, my camper. And I want to take you to the garage now to show you our next two projects. So, what you see here is three ports at the top. This is a thickness of plates. We're actually going to be adding in another 50 plates in there, but this is the testing. Uh, we are actually in the middle of trying to get more gaskets. Dan didn't realize the extra material he had was still needed, and he kind of threw it away. So now I, we have to order some more. Uh, you'll see it's cracking here a little bit too. Like if I get in really. So that's another problem we're having with the generator right now. It's why I'm not on the road. It's plus the wood stove. I'll show you the stack of metal, but it's not really a wood stove yet. Um, so we pump water in from this jug up here. This will be our water lye mixture. And you always want to pre-mix it because it will erode the system. We discovered that. So you want to put the lye in the water, let it settle overnight, cool down first. You want it to be room temperature. And then you put it in the system. Uh, from there, it will pump down this hose. And the water will flow into our generator. And that's why we have this little hole down here. The water flows through, goes in between each plate, and fills up every plate. 
And as this creates, uh, once we pump electricity through these metal plates, uh, it goes negative or positive, neutral, 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 negative, neutral, neutral. It's six neutrals in between each one. Uh, that changes and varies depending on how many amps you're using. We're using about, at most, it peaked at 24 amps, but around 16 amps right now is what we're pushing on it. We have no idea how much HHO we're generating. We don't have a means of measuring. But the reason why we have these ports up top is that allows the hydrogen gas to flow that way it can pass through the plates and come into our manifold, which is a very fancy manifold, by the way, uh, my uncle design. We're going to redesign it a little different, but this is for testing experimental purposes only. Uh, so do understand that. The gas will come through the manifold, up this line, all the way into this container, pushing the water down. That way the gas and water pressurizing keep this always full of water and then you just got to keep adding more fluids to this um, probably want to do it with the system turned off of course otherwise hydrogen will just escape and it won't matter you can not a big deal so anyways then the gas escapes out this line and right now we're just capturing it in this but what we're actually going to do it's kind of like a flash shirt uh, a flash suppressor we got this old water filter and we turn it into a bubbler. We got a hose that comes down. It'll come in here and we'll have to change the port sizes because you see we used to have fatter hoses and we switched to a smaller hose. Uh, it's got a pressure gauge on it so we can measure the pressure in here if we are getting any pressure, which we should if we're building the system right. Um, and then you'll see the gas will come in here. Um, we'll capture any leftover water. We'll pump the rest of that water back into the container if we capture any water in here. So this is going to capture water that gets through the system to prevent moisture from getting into the motor. Then the fuel will come out of this top port and go straight into our vacuum suction tube that goes right into our motors, uh, the air intake. So we'll be pumping air and hydrogen together, perfect fuel mixture for a catalyst to cause your motor to run. Uh, we need to produce about 30, no, 18 liters per minute is what we want to produce. Um, that could take about 50 to 80 amps, which is why we have 50 more plates to put in. Um, so that is the HHO generator. I hope you enjoyed my show. Uh, let me go show you my wood stove real quick. And there it is. It's a stack of metal plates. <laughs> That's not a wood stove at all. I know, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the RV and what the Crow Foundation is working on right now. Uh, we're healing ourselves. We're trying to find alternative methods to help heal our planet. And we're turning this beautiful machine into a water-powered RV fuel your whole life and all you got to do is protect your water <laughs> i know funny but i love you all uh check me out on my next video which i have no idea what it's going to be about actually no i do it's going to be about illusion of separation how to handle abandonment issues how to handle the errors that are going on with our society and how to just get over feeling being alone uh it's very beneficial once you get over the illusion of separation so come check out my next video as we talk about that and i'll keep you up to dates on the generator the rv my travels as nico and i travel back to the ancients as our ancestors guide us home and we meet the our family our oya day um all over the world so we love you we thank you god bless and take care peace out Sonríe